Good morning, traders, and welcome to Trading Wave uh, Market Weekly uh, Analysis. All right, so guys, we do apologize. We did not have our weekly outlook uh, on uh, Sunday, so we are going to be having it this uh, morning. All right, so guys, before we get started, just a few announcements. Our course is starting on the uh, 6th of uh, March, so if you want to be part of that, uh, please, uh, you can just go on the website and purchase our course uh, there. The beauty of purchasing before the start of the date is because you get to have access to our pre-recorded courses, which uh, we always advise that our, uh, the, if you want to buy the course, you must always uh, buy it in advance so that you can get some time to go through the course uh, by yourself uh, so that by the time you we do the live course, at least you do have... Uh, if you have some questions that were not answered during the time you're watching the recorded version, you can also ask that uh, during the live uh, course. Right, so watch out for our special. We'll be running some uh, special on our educational content, especially on the full course as well. So uh, watch out for that one. It will be starting uh, later uh, today. Right, so if you wish to follow us, guys, you can do so. If you go on our our YouTube page uh, there, especially if you go through uh, the weekly uh, outlooks, you will get our contact details uh, there. So below below that, you're going to get our numbers. You can reach us through WhatsApp and also on Telegram. And we've also got a Telegram page uh, there. Uh, we've got our email address, info at uh, trading-waves.com. If you've got any uh, questions regarding our services, you can email us uh, there. You can also follow us on our uh, two social media pages that we use here. Uh, that will be Twitter and also on uh, Facebook. Uh, that's uh, where you can follow us. All right, so without wasting any time, guys, let's get uh, started and let's look at the market, what is expected uh, going forward to this uh, week. All right, so we start with the DXY. So as usual, so we are looking at the DXY to have uh, likely to have completed this five wave move to a downside here from this high. We're looking at this to be done here and it's time for uh, this bigger correction uh, here. So this correction can form in uh, a form of an ABC or it can just be a WXY collective structure. As we stated last week, that it is very likely that we are seeing the bullish uh, strength. But I don't uh, like the idea that this is going to go all the way up. I'm just expecting to see a three wave move bounce here. And from here, we're going to be expecting that the DXY is going to resume with the move to the downside. So normally, uh, this will come in around the 50% of this uh, uh, cycle here from this high to these lows here. So you would expect that the move that is going to trade up to around the 56.8 Fibonacci retracement level. Then from there, we are going to be expecting that this will resume with the move to the downside. Uh, so obviously, Euro US dollar it is inversely correlated to the uh, DXY. So we are looking at this one here to have completed this impulsively move to the upside, likely this being a five wave move up here from these lows. So we're going to be expecting that this is going to give us a three wave move pullback before we can uh, look for more continuous move to the down uh, side. So very likely that we get this one to trade more lower, especially if this can break below this year, we will be very likely that we are correcting that cycle from these lows here to these uh, highs before we can expect to see a continuation move to the upside on the euro us dollar pound us dollar here yeah, as explained last week that we are looking at this one to have given us a three wave move to the upside here yeah, or be an impulsively move to the up side depend how you interpret this move here yeah, but we are looking at this one to have just been a three wave move to the upside here uh, yeah, and we're looking at this to be our connector here so we are expecting to see uh, likely um, a collective structure here, uh, which is a flat. So we're looking at this to be a three wave moves here, three wave move to the upside. So we're going to be expecting that this is going to be a move to the downside, being a three wave move or just being this uh, five wave move here. But we're going to be expecting this to be the structure. And then from here around these levels here, we're going to be expecting that this is going to continue with that bullish move to the upside on the pound US uh, dollar. Right, so US dollar chief, the ideas for this one that it should be giving us a continuation move to the down uh, side. We have been speaking about this uh, possibility that we are in this big expanding flat collective structure here, yeah, but obviously we've got some correlation. It has been an idea that we are very likely that we are having this big expanding flat collective structure and this might uh, start to give us that move to the up uh, side. But obviously we've got a correlation between the euro US dollar and also on the, uh, on the US dollar uh, chief. So if we are expecting 
mentioned that the euro us dollar is yet to uh, give us a three-way pullback that will mean at some point uh, that will mean we should be looking at this one yeah very likely that this being a standalone impulsively move to the uh, downside yeah so very likely that it might also be a time for this three-way pullback before we see a move lower remember that the dxy is expected to give us this three-way bounce to the upside because of that positive correlation with us dollar chief we are very likely to see that three-way move pullback bounce up on yeah before we can see or expect to see a continuation move to the down uh, side out of US dollar, yeah, the idea is for this one that it should be trading lower, yeah, so remember that uh, the past uh, few weeks, we have been looking at this one to have given us this move to the upside, uh, yeah, this being a three-wave move up structurally, this being a three-wave move to the upside, uh, yeah, we've got a connection here in the middle, yeah, so the expectation, if you look at this here, this looks like a leading diagonal uh, wave, yeah. so I am expecting that this is going to trade lower, yeah, in a three-wave move before we see a continuation move to the upside uh, here on our US dollar. Basically, looking at this here to be a W here, our uh, wave X, and it's somewhere around this year to be competing our uh, wave Y. Then from there, that's when we're going to be looking for that bearish move to the down, uh, that bearish move to the downside. But for now, we are just looking at this year to be a likely three wave move collective structure here, and we're going to be expecting that this will eventually give us a move to the up uh, side. There is, uh, this does not look like it is done uh, here. Obviously, there was that possibility last week that this might be done here with these three wave moves uh, here. Uh, this being an ABC. If you interpret this being an ABC, yes, of course. This might be done a year, but if you look at this, this was two corrective hands. I'm looking at this to be a WXY corrective structure. But apart from that, this not get to around the equal legs. I would have loved to see this one. Yeah, it's got into around the equal legs there. Then I was going to be expecting that this was going to be done already. But then if you look at the DXY, it does not look like it is done with the move to the downside. So hence I'm saying that this is not done yet for a move to the up uh, side. Should see just a three move pull back here. Then from there, we should be expecting to see a continuation move to the up uh, side. As for news, then US dollar. Year, uh, one of those that is also convincing why am I calling out US dollar not done is because of our uh, of, of New Zealand US dollar. Remember that you've got this positive correlation between the two instruments. So we are looking at this year from these lows to have been an impulsively moved to the upside, and then this being a, a likely flat collective structure in the middle year. So we're gonna be expecting that once this is done, it might just come and take these lows here, then from here we're gonna be expecting to see a move to the up uh, side. So we're basically looking at this year to be an A, B, C corrective structure this being our wave b here so we're going to be expecting at some point we should be getting a c wave move before we can expect to see a bearish move to the down uh, side uh, US dollar cat, obviously, this is positively correlated uh, to uh, uh, the DXAY. There are a few different parts this could take here, so you need to be mindful of those. We are expecting that the US dollar cat is going to trade lower. Yeah, this being a three wave move to a downside here, very likely that this might have been done with a three wave move, and it's time for this one to trade lower here in this three wave uh, move. You could be getting this one to be a leg lower here, a leg to the upside here. You might be getting this one to be a leg lower here. This being your W here, uh, wave X, this. To be our wave y then from there we start to see this move to the upside unless of course if the dxy it is not uh, it is giving us a bigger correction there then that is very likely that this might be a three wave moves here a move to the upside the move lower here we still get a move to the upside here we have this one being a uh, flat in the middle here before we can see a three wave move to the downside then from there we're going to be expecting to see that move to the up uh, side Right, so let's have a look at uh, the yen uh, pair, uh, US dollar JPY uh, here, yeah, looking at this here on the yen pair. So we have been looking at the yen pairs. This should have been a move to the down uh, side here, uh, yeah, completing a cycle from these highs, being our wave A1, uh, be a wave one here yeah, or be a wave A. So we have been looking at this, that it should be correcting in a three wave move. Obviously, we are expecting to see a deeper correction. You wouldn't be expecting that such move from these highs here yeah, be corrected just by these three wave moves here. Uh, yeah. So we are expecting that this is already done uh, here. Uh, we should should be seeing another three wave move collective structure this being our w here uh, with x this should be our wave y once we can get this one to at least around 56 1.8 of this year fibonacci retracement level then we're going to be expecting that this is going to eventually resume with the move to the down uh, side with the uh, the uh, the dxy expected to give us that three wave move pull back uh, the but the US dollar based uh, pairs are positively correlated to the DXY. That would mean we are very likely to see some uh, strength to the upside on these. Uh, yeah, but eventually we're going to be expecting that at some point US dollar JPY is going to trade uh, lower. So this is where the beauty of the indicator comes in. You can get these three wave collective structures to be completed uh, like this. As early trade traders are just looking for these three wave collective structures and then we look at this move to a downside. Yeah, so the same thing that we would have done here, you just look at this three wave move and you look for this move to a downside. 
that. But if you understand the circular sequence, also uh, with the help of the special indicator that we use, that's when you get to know when is the market ready, that it is uh, time for to make those uh, entries. So we're going to be waiting for that indicator to confirm for us. Once this is ready, completed the three wave move, it will tell us that we are very likely to have completed. It's time to look for that entry to the down uh, side. As for pound yen, the idea is for this one that it should be trading lower here. So we have been looking at this to be building a nest here. This being a one, two, one, two, this being a wave one here, a wave two, and then this to have been a wave one in a different uh, degree uh, here. This being a wave one here uh, in a five wave move to our downside. So now we are looking at this here. Just giving us a three wave move to our downside here, but this does not look like it is ready to drop lower here. So we are very likely that even if this uh, drop here, it might still start give us a move to the upside like this, structure like this, drop lower here. Then again, you see a three wave move to the, to the upside. This being your W here, here wave X, and then this to be our wave Y before we can expect to see that continuation move to the down uh, side. So we uh, we are seeing these structures here, uh, but uh, the most critical thing is when do you make an entry? So that's where that indicator will come uh, in. But very likely that we see one more leg up here on a pound yet before we can expect to see a continuation move to the downside. But the, the key level is this swing high here. I don't expect that this is going to trade all the way to the upside here. Uh, so anything below that, you're just looking for those selling opportunities to the down uh, side. Euro JPY, the same year, we are expecting to see a continuation move to a downside here. Not a nice uh, structure that we are seeing here, but what we have been looking at is this being very likely a leading diagonal structure like this uh, year. This should have been our wave one, a two year, our three, four, our wave five year, and we are in this uh, correction in this three wave moves a uh, year. This being a move to the upside here, a three wave move lower here. This should have been a three wave move to a downside here. Uh, I wanted to see this to extend a little bit higher here, yeah, to come in around uh, this equal legs a uh, year, but there was not the case. Instead, this is, looks like it has started to trade lower to the downside, so we are going to be looking for that uh, bearish move to a downside on uh, uh, Euro uh, JPY. All right, so uh, Chief Yen, the idea is for this one that it should be giving us a three-wave move pullback at least to the upside here yeah, before we can expect to see a continuation move uh, uh, lower. So we have been looking at this one here, uh, yeah, this being a wave one uh, here, yeah, looking at this here to be a move to the upside, three-wave move pullback here, uh, yeah, not a nice uh, 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 connector here in the middle, but we are looking at this one that it should be uh, giving us at least one more leg up here. Yeah. Uh, structurally, we're just looking for this three wave move here yeah, against this swing high. Then you're going to be expecting to see a bearish continuation move to the down uh, side. Head yen, the idea is for this one to complete a three wave move structure here. Yeah. So we have been looking at this uh, from these highs here. Yeah. This to have been a wave. Uh, uh, wave one here, yeah, uh, wave two. So we are looking at this to be a wave three that is done here. Yeah, so we are looking at this one to be very likely to be completing this three wave structure here. Yeah. Once we get this three wave move structure done here, yeah, this being our uh, wave four, after completing this wave three here, yeah, we're going to be looking for a continuation move to the downside on a uh, CAD uh, yen. Right, so let's have a look at New Zealand yen here. Yeah, the idea is for this one that it should be giving us a move to the upside here. Yeah, obviously, we are looking at this structurally. This to be uh, done here yeah, after this move from these lows here. Yeah, so we have been looking at this to have been likely a three wave move structure here. Yeah, obviously, this being a running fair collective structure here. Yeah, so we're going to be expecting that this will eventually give us a move to the upside. Like the idea that uh, these major pairs are here, Audi US dollar and New Zealand US dollar expected to make a move to the upside. So we are very likely that they are going to have an impact on these uh, two New Zealand uh, on these two yen uh, pairs. Our yen, the idea is for this one that it should be giving us a move to the upside here. Yeah. Obviously, last week there was a possibility this might drop lower here. Yeah. Uh, this should be this uh, move here. Uh, yeah. Three wave move here. Yeah. Whether this being, uh, being this being our connector here. Yeah. And then we have this one to be a three wave move. This being your WXY collective structure. Structurally it is uh, possible, but we have to get to these swing lows being taken out. If we can't get these lows being taken out here, then we're going to be looking at this year to be a WXY quantity structure before we can see a move to the upside. But right now, we have been looking at this year to be a very likely, this being a structure here, and we are already starting a move to the upside here. So three wave move pullback here that we are seeing around this area here could be a, a structure that is taking us back to uh, these highs here on our yen. 
As for the Euro pairs, Euro Audi, the ideas for this one, that it should be keeping us, uh, uh, giving us this move to the downside here. Yeah, we have been giving us an update on this one here. Yeah, you can check out on our YouTube page for those short videos that you normally uh, give out. So we have been looking at this to be in a five-wave move to the downside here. Yeah, this being our wave one here, yeah, this being our wave uh, two, and then we're looking at this one to be building a nest here. Uh, yeah, this should be now wave one in a lower degree. Uh, let me use a different color here. Yeah. This being our wave one a uh, year in a different degree this to be our wave one year three wave move to the upside this being our wave two year so we are looking at this to be building a nest a uh, year on a uh, 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 euro area so we've got this uh, drop to the downside here a three wave move to here this being our, our very likely this being a flag a uh, year so we're going to be looking for this bearish continuation move to the downside especially against this swing high uh, yeah, we should be seeing this one trading uh, more uh, lower Right, as for uh, Euro New Zealand, the idea is for this one that it should be keeping on dropping uh, to the downside. But before we just speak about that drop, it is very likely, we have been talking about this one, that it, this is very likely giving us uh, this uh, bigger correction here. This being a three-wave move to the upside uh, yet uh, after this impulsive move, we saw this three-wave move up uh, here to the upside. This being our W, and we've got this one to be an expanding fair collective structure here. So what is very likely that we get this one to complete a three-wave move to the upside uh, here at least to come somewhere around this era here so what we could have had here in the uh in the mid year, this being our W year, this being our wave X, obviously against this swing low year, then we're going to be looking for this one more leg up before we see a drop. Unless, of course, if this does for whatever reason trade lower year, then we're going to be looking for uh, that bearish move to the down side. But we are still trading above this swing uh, uh, low year, so we're going to be expecting eventually to see that one more leg up before we see a continuation move to the down uh, uh, side. Right, just for Eurocad, the idea is for this one that it should be giving us a leg to the upside. Yeah, we have been looking at this from these lows, this to being our uh, wave one. Uh, yeah, so we are very likely in the wave uh, f uh, f four formation. This being our uh, wave one, our uh, wave two. Yeah, the three wave move to a downside. Yeah, three wave move up here. So we are seeing this one giving us a move to a downside. So what is very likely is to have this one being an expanding fair collective structure. And then from here, we will be very likely that we're going to be seeing that one more leg up here before we can expect to see a big a continuation, a uh, bigger correction and a continuation move uh, lower. But very likely that we are having this one to be building this flat collective structure here. Then from here, we're going to be expecting to see a continuation move to the upside. Uh, As for Euro Chief, the ideas for this one that it should be continuing with the move to the upside here. Uh, yeah, but we are very likely that this is giving us a structure like this. We've had a move to the upside here. Uh, yeah. We've got this one to be a three wave move here. Uh, yeah. We thought this was all done here, yeah, but we could have having this one here to be a three wave move up here. Uh, yeah. This being an a year, I will be our uh, wave C here, and we are getting a three wave move that is going to be related to this one. The whole thing here, this being a possible at uh, uh, WXY here, this being our uh, wave one here, then we have this a W here, uh, wave X, and then we have this one to be our uh, wave Y. Obviously, we would be expecting that this could still just be a running fed collective structure here, it does not have to come and take this low, but if it comes and take this low, yeah, we're gonna be looking at this here to be a possible expanding fed collective structure, and from here, we're gonna be looking for that move to the up uh, side on euro uh, chief as for euro pound the ideas for this one that it should be giving us a continuation move to the upside uh, yeah so from these lows we have been calling this this being our wave one i'm sure you've seen this one on our social media pages we have been looking at this to be our wave one from these lows a uh, year yeah. uh, so we are very like this being our wave two that we've had here yeah. so we are very like that we are having this one building a nest uh, yeah but you gotta be careful you need to know where you're gonna have your stop loss level if this is building up a nest. So this could be our wave one, our wave two, our wave one here, yeah, this being our wave two, and then we see a continuation move to the upside like this here yeah, to complete the five wave move of from these lows here, yeah, come five wave move, then we get a bigger correction, which is going to be our wave four, and a continuation move to the upside. But you gotta be careful of that. Um, a correlation or negative correlation between the pound US dollar and the euro pound. If you're expecting the pound US dollar is eventually going to make a move to the upside, be mindful this might uh, give us a drop lower. There was a possibility in terms of a structure that this could have just been a three wave move to the downside. Uh, yeah, obviously, this has got to make sense with the left hand side of the chart. So, this could still be just a three wave move a uh, year. And then we see this one trading low in three wave move that is related to this one a uh, year before we can expect to see that move to the upside. Uh, that is just the two possibilities that you need to be 
demand full off on euro pound for pound already the ideas for this so that it should keep on uh, dropping to the downside yeah but we are very aware we are keeping this here in our mind structurally we could have this one impulsively move up three wave move at down here through a move up and then this being a three wave move down here we have this one being an expanding frequentive structure then we see this move to the side, but we've got to be convinced uh, here first you need to see an impulsive move if you take out these highs here get it through pull back you do not have to hesitate look for that buying opportunity to the upside on a uh, pound uh, out the idea has been for this one to drop lower this bring our wave one our wave two yeah this building a nest here yeah. if this does as i'm saying it needs to take this high yeah then it will be convincing that this is going to eventually give us that move to the upside structurally remember i'm looking at this as a possibility expanding fair quality structure yeah then we see that move to the up uh, side but obviously pound new then your dollar should need to uh, give us a similar structure as well so we've had this one making a move to the upside uh, here on pound in new zealand so we saw this uh, impulsively move up on the pound pairs and move to the upside yeah this is not convincing i must say this is not convincing at all that this is going to make a move to the upside uh, yeah if you look at this we have been with this to be a leading diagonal uh, wave one a uh, year and now we've got this as a three wave move but what is very like that this is a three wave move yeah we might still see this one giving us one more leg up a uh, year and then we have a structure like this before we see a continuation or alternatively if pound out it because it's got a more clear structure give us an impulsively move here then we're going to be expecting that this is going to be a three wave moves a year not a nice one here then but then we're going to be expecting that we should be getting a move that is going to be related to this one now one of the reason why we have been looking at this as an impulsively move we've been looking at the possibility of this year being an expanding fair collective structure here not as a standalone but for if it's a standalone impulsively move here then very likely that we might be getting this one to be a structure like this and then we see a move that is going to be related to this one this being your wave a year uh wave b year then we get this move up for our wave a c those are the possibilities with the pound a uh, new zealand as for pound chief, the ideas for this one that it should be completing this structure here. We showed you like this one last week that we've had this one from these lows being a move to the upside uh, here. So we are looking at this one here. They move to the upside here. So we're looking at this one to be very likely a three wave move structure like this uh, here. So we might get this one to trade lower here at least to come and take these uh, lows uh, here. Then from here, we're going to be expecting to see a move that is going to be related to this one here. So one more leg lower here. Once you start to see an impulsively move up through a pullback, if you get a confirmation so we're going to be using that indicator then we're going to be looking for that bullish move to the up uh, side pound care the ideas for this one that it should be continuing with the move to the upside uh, yeah but where do you make an entry yeah that's the most important thing but just to give you an idea here yeah, this being a three wave move uh, to the upside uh, here this being a wave a yeah this being a wave b we always see here that has completed this w here so we are looking at this to be a likely three wave move come around these levels here yeah. then from here we're going to be expecting to see another three wave move leg to the upside that is going to be related to this one so looking at this to be our w here uh with x this to be our wave y uh, on a pound uh, k so watch out for that one you don't please do not look for the selling opportunities here you rather look for those buying opportunities to the up uh, side as for our new zealand the ideas for this one we have been showing you this with what this impulsively move to our downside here on an our new zealand so we're going to be looking for uh, this three wave move pull back once we get a three wave move pull back and the indicator is confirming that we're going to be looking for that short move to the down uh, side. Our care, the ideas for this one that it should be continuing with the move to the upside here. Yeah, we've got what appears to be a five wave move up here. Yeah, so we are looking at this here to be a three wave move pull back. Five wave move to the upside that we are looking at here. Yeah. So, so far, we've got the three wave moves here yeah, and move to the upside. So we're going to be looking for at least another three wave move. This being a W here uh, with X, this to be our wave Y. Then from there, we're going to be looking for a move that is going to be related to this one, at least to the equal L. Uh, the different part that this could take uh, here so far and uh, there is nothing wrong with this here uh, it can still give us a structure like this this being a three wave moves a uh, year we can get this one to be a move to the upside a uh, year and still get this one to uh, give you a move a uh, year or alternatively one can look at this uh, here to be a leading diagonal here uh, this being a one two three four five year wave a uh, we can still get a deeper correction here uh, and still get this leg here uh, here there are different parts that this can may uh, take here uh, on our uh, get news then care the ideas for this one that it should be continuing with the move to the upside a uh, year yeah, Strong, very strong impulsively move to the upside that we are seeing here so we're going to be expecting that this is going to trade more lower here before we see a continuation move to the up uh, side so be mindful here we've got a very strong move to the upside so these collective structures you might expect them to be a bit
uh, deeper from these lows. So you're going to be expecting to see some deeper correction here before you can expect to see that move to the upside on New Zealand uh, CAD. I would achieve the ideas for this one that it should be continuing with the move to the upside here. Uh, it does not have a clear structure right now, but you will see that when you get to New Zealand Chief, it has got more of like a clear structure, but we are looking at this from these lows. Very likely that this might have been a structure here. Uh, one of those that could have been a leading diagonal here. So we could be having this one here to be a through a structure like this, and then we get a to the upside, but against this swing low here, we're going to be expecting that eventually our chief is going to give us that move to the up side. New Zealand chief, the ideas for this one to have completed this five wave move to the upside here. Uh, we are looking at this to continue with the move to the upside. Five wave move up, looking at this to be a three wave creative structure here. Come around these lows against this swing low here, then we're going to be looking for that structure to the upside on New Zealand uh, chief. You can watch out for this one uh, on our uh, chart of the week. But right, just for our chief, uh, head chief, we have been looking at this one. Last week, you have been our chart of the week. Uh, yeah, after completing this cycle from these highs here, yeah, we have been expecting that this was going to make a move to the upside. Yeah, so far, we are just still around this era here. Yeah. So it is very likely that this is going to eventually make a move to the upside. But obviously, alternative views can always be this. Uh, yeah, this being a three wave move to the upside uh, here yeah, on head chief. Three wave move up here. Uh, yeah. This could be a connector here, yeah, or we could be getting this one to be a structure like this. Get a move to the upside here, then from there it starts to give us this uh, drop a uh, lower. But let's observe how this is going to unfold. We still need to see more data. As for gold, the ideas for this one that it should be correcting the cycle from these lows are here. Uh, gold, if you are patiently enough, you might be getting this one here to be one of those or, or trade of the year. Yeah, impulsively move to the upside confirmation from these lows are here. We are just waiting for this to complete a three wave move pullback. You get this to be a three wave pullback against this swing low here. You can look to buy and hold on on uh, gold. We have been talking about this one for quite some time, but right now, a throw full bag needs to be seen. Once that is done, then you're going to be expecting to see a move to the upside. Obviously, silver, it is positively correlated to gold. The expectation is to see this one give us a three-wave move pull back against this swing low. Yeah, you get a three-wave pull back. Uh, yeah, this being a three-wave pull back structure, then you can look to buy and hold on on uh, silver. So you might want to buy and hold on to these commodities uh, this uh, year. I would be expecting that we're going to be seeing uh, the big move on the uh, commodities. As for platinum, the ideas for this one that it should be uh, giving us a three-wave move pullback here. So far, what we have here is this to have been uh, uh, what appears to be a three-wave move. Remember, we're looking for the three-wave move pullback against this swing low here. So this looks like a three-wave move here already. So I'm expecting that this might bounce up in a three-wave move. Then we still see this one continuing the three-wave move. This being your wave one here. So looking at this to be our wave two. Eventually, we're going to be looking for that big move to the upside as well on a uh, platinum. As for Brand crude oil, the ideas for this are that it should be keeping on dropping to the downside here. Yeah. On the recent chart that we have been looking at is this to have completed this three-wave move to the upside here, uh, yeah, and the expectation is to keep on dropping uh, lower. So we have been looking at this to have been a three-wave move to the upside here. Uh, yeah. The expectation that this should drop here, yeah, obviously, against this swing high. If it take this high here, yeah, then it's going to be a different uh, story. So, but that just to give an idea, what if this does take here, uh, yeah, obviously, this could be the structure here yeah, that this is a three-wave move, we still see a move lower here, but we've been having a lot of nesting that is taking place here, so we are very likely that is, this is even building a leading diagonal here. We could be having a structure like this, this being uh, your one, two, three, four, five here, uh, wave one, a two here, this being a three here, this should be now wave four, coming to the territory of a wave one, this being our wave five here, and then we have this one to be a leading diagonal. If that's the case, that might be just be a move to a downside, be a wave one here, or this be a wave a here, then we get this one to be a structure like this three wave move here and then something like this here being your w x y quality structure that will be collecting this cycle from this high to these lows here before we can see a contribution move to the downside that's a possibility with brand crude uh, oil Right, so as for the indices, the ideas for this one, that it should keep on making a move to the upside here. Yeah, we've got uh, these possibilities here. So far, we have been looking at this. This to have been, uh, there was a change of a structure here. We've been looking at this here to be a one, two, three, four, five. This being our wave A here. This being our wave B. Looking at this to be our wave C here. That it might completed a move uh, uh, or this uh, three wave move cycle here. And it's time for this move to the upside here on the indices. So there is that possibility. You will see that some of the indices, they keep on extending to the upside. But alternatively, we are very aware that this could just be a connector here that is building up. This being a five-wave move here, three-wave move up, 
three-wave move down here. So this could just be a three-wave move. Come and check this high here. And then we have this being your wave A here, this being our wave B somewhere around this area here. And then we still see a move that is going to be related to this one, uh, trading lower before we can get that big move to the up uh, side. But like I've said it, that some of the indices are starting to uh, see that they will be approaching their all-time highs recently. So that's why we are looking at the possibility that the indices might have bottom here. So same thing applies here. Yeah, we've always had this as an alternative view that we could be having this one to have been a leading diagonal here. Yeah, this being a wave one, two here, yeah, three, four, uh, wave five, this being a wave A here, uh, yeah, uh, wave B here. Uh, yeah. Then we have this one as an impulsive you move, wave C, not going as far as around the equal legs, instead terminating at the point six one eight, which is very allowed. Now we've had this one to be an impulsive you move here. Yeah, so it, it could be that this is just a standalone impulsive you move. Then we get this one to be a three wave structure like this here, yeah, and then we still see a continuation move to the upside. There is that possibility on a Dow Jones. Unless, of course, if this is part of a this impulsively move being part of this Fed collective structure, then that will mean we are very likely to see a move that is going to trade lower that is related to this one. But right now, we're going to respond to what the market is giving us through a pullback that we get a year. We're going to be looking for this buying opportunity to the upside on a Dow Jones. As for S&P 500, the idea is for this one that it should be keeping on extending to the upside. Yeah, same thing applies, just like on a Dow Jones. Looking at this one here, yeah, to have been a leering diagonal uh, yeah, uh, wave A uh, that is completed by this five wave move, motive wave here. Yeah this being your A here, uh, wave B here, this will complete our wave C, and it's time for this move should up. So we could be having this one as our wave one here, uh, wave two, and we are in this uh, wave uh, three. Unless, of course, if this is just a three-wave code structure here, yeah, obviously we've always had there's an alternative view, come check this higher, yeah, get a move that's going to be related to this one, and then we see a leg uh, lower. So we should be expecting those possibilities as well on S&P 500. As for DAX, keep on extending to the upside here. Yeah, so we have been looking at this one uh, yeah for quite some time we have been looking at this to have been a wave a yeah uh wave b and this to have been a wave c uh, yeah as an ending diagonal a uh, yeah so this being a five wave move up from these lows here yeah, feel like this is just a standalone move here yeah. we might even if we get this through a pullback it might just be a wave one here yeah, this being a wave two and then we see a continuation move to the upside on a uh, dax that's a possibility that we can have this for uk 100 nothing much on this one yeah we've been speaking about this year that we we are expecting to see more uh, moves to the upside. You can check out this here on our social media page. Very likely this being our wave one, our wave two here, we are getting this one to be building a nest. So through a pull better we're seeing here against the swing lows here could be an opportunity that we can look for uh, buying on the UK 100. Nikki, we've been talking about this one here that the expectation is for this one to complete the structure here. So be a structure, be a creative structure that is starting from these highs here. Yeah. So this could just be a three wave move that we are seeing here. This being your three wave move to the upside here, yeah. then we get this one to be a three-wave move creative structure here, yeah. completing this whole thing, being a W here, uh, wave X, this to be our wave Y, then from there, this one we're going to be expecting to see that big move to the up uh, side. So not something new, we have been talking about that one on uh, Nikki. As for uh, Nifty, the ideas for this one, that it should be complete, it should, it has completed this five-wave move to the upside uh, here, this being our wave five, so we are expecting to see this one, be correcting uh, this uh, cycle from the is low so very likely that this is a one two three uh, move here then we see a continuation move to the upside on a uh, nifty as for the cryptocurrencies we are looking at a uh, uh, Bitcoin, uh, yeah, uh, it's a matter of whether uh, this has already bought or more still yet to see another leg uh, lower. Few possibilities that we've got here on a Bitcoin is that uh, uh, this might still trade uh, lower here. Yeah. So for now, I have been looking at this here that from these highs, this is still completing this. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you uh, different possibilities here. Yeah, this being an A here, uh, wave B, we are looking at this to be a wave C. So we could be having this a one, two, uh, wave three here, yeah, this being a three wave move pull back and expanding flat code of structure like this being our way four then we see a one more leg lower to the downside alternatively we could be having this one to be a structure like this so i'm just going to show you this on a daily time frame uh, it is nicely visible on a daily uh, time uh, frame 
Let's go to the daily here on a bit uh, corn. I'm just putting this one here on a log scale on a daily. So we are very likely here yeah, that this is just a structure like this. Instead of this being an ABC, yeah, we have this one. Three wave move to a downside here. This being our W. And then we have this uh, connector expanding flat. It doesn't have to be an expanding flat. If it's going to be an expanding flat, that will mean one more leg up needs to be seen. Then we get this one to take this high here. Alternatively, this could just be this uh, uh, running flat collective structure here that is already done a year then we get to see this through a move that is going to be related to this this being your w here your wave x this to be our wave y before we can expect to see that move to the upper side that's the possibility there with a bitcoin but for now we need to take out the uh this uh swing high here uh, to call that this is going to give us a leg and uh, lower there's nothing wrong with this one just dropping from a uh, year alternatively a bullish scenario that we could be having is that this has already bought from here uh, from uh the highs a uh, year this has already made a bottom but if that's the case then we are very likely having this one here to be started like this being our wave one two here a three here this could just be in a wave four we get one more leg up wave five take up this swing high here then we see a three wave move put back if that's the case then we are going to be looking for the bar so this could just be our wave one here we get this is a three wave move put back our wave two here then we expect to see that continuation move to the up uh, side as for ethereum obviously positive correlation to bitcoin here if this has already bought from here yeah, that would mean we are very likely that this from these high uh these lows here yeah, this was our wave one year yeah, and we have been in this correction being our wave two and then we see a continuation move to the upper side but right now uh, i am still looking for this one that is this is very likely that this can still drop more lower here yeah. so just like what we are looking at on a uh, um, uh, bitcoin so we have been looking at this one from these highs here yeah, this being our wave uh, five wave move to a downside three wave move here yeah. so we have been looking at this being our wave three here yeah. so this being our wave four and we're looking at this one to be a possible leading diagonal with a three wave move pull back here yeah. this being our wave one here yeah. and then this being our wave two expect you to three four and a five here yeah, before we can expect to see that move to the upside but i'm just gonna zoom in here locally in terms of a structure here yeah. uh, this uh, this has not uh, got the possibility that we are in this collective structure there is still the possibility that we are having this one to be a three wave move here yeah, through a move up this being an expanding flow collective structure here and then very like that this from these lows this being our wave one two here three here our wave four we get one more leg up as a wave five before we can expect to see a three wave move put back or a move that is going to take us a lower so this three wave move put back that would mean this has already made a bottom here and it's time for this continuation move to the upside on a third up as for Litecoin, we are looking at this one that it should be dropping lower here. So I'm just looking from these lows here. This has been making the higher highs. If you look at this, the price has not broken any of these swing lows a year. Every time it make these uh, swing lows a year, this keeps on making the new highs a year, keeps on making the new uh, highs. So we are very likely that this... Uh, 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 if you look at this now, it is starting to give us a possibility that this is, uh, is very likely to drop because it has started to broken below these swing highs a year that it kept on making. So we could be having this one starting to give us a drop uh, here on a uh, light uh, coin. But we've been calling for this one to be a wave four, but I still need to see more confirmation here. Start to get break these swing lows a year, then we will be very likely that it's time for this uh, drop uh, low. I'm still not yet convinced with these cryptocurrencies if they have bottom as for Ripple, the ideas for this one that this is already uh, uh, not yet uh, done uh, yeah we are still looking at the possibility of this one to be giving us a move to the downside uh, yeah so from these highs this being a structure like this uh here yeah. we have been looking at this to be a, a diagonal uh, here a structure like this being a five wave move to a downside yeah through a move pull back so we're going to be expecting that this is going to eventually give us a move to the downside uh, here but then from there that's what we're going to be expecting to see a move to the upside on a uh, ripple Right, guys, from my side, that's all what I wanted to share you uh, uh, with you uh, guys. So if you like our content, please do press that like button and also uh, subscribe to our channel as well. Make sure that you uh, uh, click on that bell so that every time we release a video, at least you get an update. Right, guys, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Cheers, everybody, and have a good one, and bye-bye.